<laughs> so, a con so congratulations on the seventh day with you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be very, very good. And hopefully with COVID times, we'll, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this your first English lead film? Uh, yes. Film, film, yes. It's the first one. And, uh, well, not really my first film, but as a lead, like a, like a big role, yes, for sure. I, I did do a How to Be a Lion Lover, but, like, it was, like, a very small uh, little part. Very fun. So how, how, how was that uh, experience like for you, you know, to be on, on an English production as, as a lead? It was amazing. Like it's something I've definitely been looking for. Um, I've mainly done uh, I've mainly done things for Latin America uh, all my life. So I did a crossover. I've been trying to like do more projects. And I've done um, you know things here and there. But like finally, when I um, got a like a lead role, and especially like beside Guy Pierce, you know, Stephen Lang, like uh, like the cast is wonderful in this movie. Um, and I love the script, like it was so much fun. So, and in general, I'm very excited, very, um, I was very nervous at first, you know, for sure. Um, but once I was in set and everything and, and, and like, we, you started just going, it was so wonderful to see the production team, like how great they are, what they do, because they were literally doing that for like, for such a long time. And like all the actors, how like great, uh, um, they are like their craft and even like them outside like the set like everyone was so nice so they made me feel right at home so so what initially attracted you to the to the seventh son was it just the idea of taking an english lead role was it the cast what or was it the story for you Honestly, I think it was a mix of all of those things, right? Because, of course, you get a lead and, like, you know, you don't want to get too picky in the beginning. But at the same time, with the career that I have been building, like, I if the, if the project wasn't good enough, even though it's the first lead in, in English, I would, you know, I would have to, like, decline or something. But this project seemed... Uh, big enough uh the story i really liked it i like the twist that it has i like the kind of like training day feel that i have with like the character of guy pierce and like father peter and daniel uh i think it's very cool and clever and it gives a like a little um twist to everything and um i don't know i just really 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 saw myself doing that and i saw it as a challenge and i have never done a horror film you know, in my career. So I thought that also that was like a good thing to try. I'm like, hey, I can see myself, you know, getting thrown around by a demon. <laughs> <laughs> what what was it like uh, working alongside Guy Pierce? I, I admire him for years. So so I don't really know what, what he's like uh, in real life uh, when right. you're acting alongside with him because he plays so many different characters in his career. I know. He's just like that, very bipolar. I'm scared. <laughs> no, he's, he's great. We, um, I was very nervous before I met him, for sure. Uh, I do remember that everyone, the same way as you, like, have told me I admire him so much, and he's such a great actor. Like, like you have to go there prepared, and like you know, like they really hyped it up. So when I got there, I remember that I was like you know, shitting myself. You know, like I, <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, so I gotta be like as good as I can be. And even in the reading, it was very informal. Um, I did it terribly. I did it so bad. I was like, what are you doing? Like, like you, I started reading, like, so, like, all my accent just came out. Like, it was bad. It was bad. So, after that, like, I definitely relaxed. And we had, like, a dinner, all of us. And it was just more chill. And once we started filming, uh, everything flowed way, like, better, you know. And uh, he's so great. He's so professional. He's so good at what he does. Like, I remember the times where the camera was not on me and I'm like seeing him act, you know, it's like, it was truly an, a learning experience. Um, and I think what I enjoyed the most is when he was off camera, you know, like how much of a jokester he is and how, um, um, how much of a, like a dark humor he can also have, you know, because I'm exactly the same. I love like playing around and joking. So at the end of like, Mid movie, we were literally picking on each other so much. It was it was very it was great. 
Let, let me rewind a little bit. You said the accent comes out because you're not speaking with an accent in the movie or to me right now. So so what what is your true voice? Is it this your true voice or the one with the accent's your true voice? <laughs> well, in English, it's very hard for me to do a Mexican accent. But if I'm reading and I'm messing up, sometimes like I could definitely talk like this, you know, like yeah, like more of a Mexican accent. <laughs> <laughs> or hablar español normal, so it just depends. Like, but yeah, it's yeah, a full Spanish goes on. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrific. So, how did you prepare for this role? Did you uh, do a little bit of you know exorcism research for yourself, or did they enroll you into exorcist school? What what did it? What did you do for preparation? Just bought a Ouija board, you know, and just <laughs> let myself get possessed for a while. <laughs> No, um, I I mean, I, I did some coaching here in L.A., mainly for the script and everything. I uh, talked to Justin a lot, the director, about what he kind of wanted for the character, what I wanted. Um, and something I did with the coaching, which was one of those extra things in, like, acting that uh, my coach asked was, hey, go to church, you know, and literally sit there and really kind of, like, sink in what, that life could be right like how would it feel to make this like part of your home and your everyday thing and, like soak in the silence and the paintings and like really everything and study all those things uh other than that i researched like more movies you know like the exorcist uh and things like that to like see other uh films that had to do with that but uh it was more of like a character research more than with exorcisms was, was it, this being your first horror movie, was it hard to get in the headspace of a horror movie, you know, being scared? Because you come from, like, a lot of background, like, drama and comedies for yourself. Yeah, well, if you, I mean, if we think about it, uh, a horror film at the end, is, it is the drama, right? Like, at the end, it is, at least the acting part of it, it's still... Uh, a dramatic thing i mean and it could sometimes have like a little comedic relief but it's mainly a dramatic uh film that just happens to be a place where people get killed right <laughs> so <laughs> just a little more than usual so um so that that was very um easy on the on the sense that i kind of like was more familiar with it but um but I guess just like just being a little bit more afraid than usual, I guess, because you know, in other projects, you you could be sad or mad or anything, but you're not really not that um, afraid about about things. But it, it was nice. I like the stunt part about it a lot, like having to do my own like little things that get thrown around and like with, um, like the part when they drag me on the floor. They had like five guys pulling me at once and like things like that to like be dragged so i don't know it was, it was, it was fun for sure wow that's that sounds uh overall the production wise pretty exciting for you and the costume helps right wearing that uh, priest costume oh, yeah. yeah i remember like the the hair the way they did it like you know like uh gelled back and all that and then like the robe with i forgot the name i'm such a bad priest uh the purple uh well it's like a sash or something yeah yeah there you go yes exactly so that, that that definitely i looked in the mirror and i just walked like you know and walked around blessing <laughs> <laughs> blessing the crew excellent well um let me leave off with one one more thought before i let you go um obviously you know the world is still a little bit crazy due to this pandemic yeah. how are you staying sane and creative during this time for yourself I have been so creative and so lazy at the same time. <laughs> it's been definitely a mix of uh, what am I doing with my life? And I'm so happy in, in a way for me personally that I've gotten to like have this space because I've watched endless movies. And at the same time, I have been songwriting a lot. I have uh, started learning like new instruments and I have like really um, started working on um, like just different creative parts that normally because of acting or like constant like work 
uh, coming at me or like having to like go to places. I normally just left it for like, I procrastinated on it, you know? So this really gave me a time to kind of like look at what was I missing or what did I want to do that I didn't like have time to. And I just focused on that, but it's been, it's been exhausting, but it's been really, really good also. So I, I try to see the positive in everything. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That is excellent to hear. Well, once again, like I said, congratulations for the seventh day. Um, I can't I can't wait to see you more in uh, English films here on this side oh, of the border. Thank you, thank you so much, man. And uh, it was you know, pleasure, pleasure talking to you. Excellent. Next time, thank you. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye.